Just beyond Williams and into the path of Parr, who will keep it in play. BK's clearance was a little ungainly, but Haroon then made a bit of a mess of it. Zaha so around the back, he had no right to, and Murray turns it in. Brilliant play by Zaha, and Murray knows who to thank for the provision of the simplest of goals. Well, Zaha seemed as though he was closed in, it was seemingly a cul-de-sac, but not for him. And the deflection on the cross took it straight to Murray. Haroon made a real hash of it, and Middlesbrough didn't half pay the ultimate price. Zaha's delivery, and Murray gratefully on the end of all people to leave unmarked, albeit via deflection that took it to him. Haroon back to his goalkeeper. Steele shoveling it is out only as far as W hits it! Just beyond the post. Palace corner. Murray jumps. And Ramage! And at last, Crystal Palace get themselves what had seemed an elusive second goal. And not too much emotion on the face of the gaffer. Steele with a clear. Middles were still down to 10. Here's Williams. Dickachoy beaten to it by Friend. Murray! Oh, fabulous! Well, he may have missed a couple to make it a hat-trick in the first half, but if he can pull one out as good as that, maybe a hat-trick still on for Glenn Murray. Brilliant goal, celebrated with a punch in the air by the gaffer. Wonderful hit by Murray, beyond steel. Three goals for Palace, three points for Palace, and still more than half an hour of torment for Middlesbrough. Dobby, tackle low by Friend, he's probably been Middlesbrough's best performer. And Miller into the path of Haroon, can they pull one back? Yes, they can. 11 minutes to go, and maybe there is a way back into this for Middlesbrough. Zaha, great ball, Phillips. Oh, yeah. I had a hunch he might get a goal today. In fact, every time he gets onto the field, you have a hunch he's going to get a goal. And that is exactly why Ian Holloway has signed.